going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about VR on Xbox. Now everybody knows that the PlayStation VR is out, Oculus Rift is out, HTC Vive is out, and Xbox gamers are longing for the long time announced HoloLens augmented reality headset. Now the way that they actually showed this thing was very intriguing that you're able to see things in augmented reality, you're able to use 3D printers and print them out and they actually work. All this stuff seems really magical. After that reveal of the HoloLens, we haven't heard anything about any type of VR or augmented reality for the Xbox, barring the revelation that the Xbox One Scorpio will support VR functionality. Now, Phil Spencer is watching the climate. He knows uh, what's going on out there in VR. He sees Sony making their move for the VR hotspot. Of course, Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. And people want to know, Phil, what's going to happen when it comes to VR? I'll drop a link in the description. Phil Spencer isn't sold on VR. We'll come to Xbox when it's more than demos and experiments. I'll be honest, I'm not wild by VR. Though I took my sweet time getting hands on with the tech, I'm just not convinced it's anything more than a gimmick right now. It looks like I'm not alone in that fact either as Xbox boss Phil Spencer is in a similar position. Speaking with SteveVR.com, Spencer aired his concerns about the current state of VR as well as indicating when Xbox players will be able to get their hands on some sort of VR tech. Quote, I don't know. Just to be honest, I love the technology behind VR. I have an HTC Vive. I have an Oculus Rift. I've used a PlayStation VR device, a lot of demos and stuff, end quote. But he's convinced there's still some way to go for both developers and technology itself. Spencer also added that we've still got a way to go before VR really hits mainstream. Quote, what experiences do you put in people's hands to have a long-term engagement? Most of these things I'm playing now feel like demos and experiments, which I actually think it's the absolute right thing to have happened. That's not a criticism at all, but should be happening. But I think it will take some time, end quote. It's an interesting comment indeed as the upcoming console project Scorpio, which was un unveiled at E3 earlier this year, is said to be a total powerhouse capable of running VR experiences. However, despite that, it looks like Spencer wants to wait until the time is right rather than rushing into something which could end up about as well as the Kinect. Spencer touches on the Kinect from the creative standpoint and it's something I've always mentioned about PSVR, much like the Kinect, early adoption will be positive, but I really don't think there's any longevity in the technology. So, uh, I don't know who this guy is. Um, the author is Aaron Richardson, and I, I don't know exactly what experiences he's had in VR, but I respectfully disagree. I don't think that VR is a fad at all. I think that it is definitely the direction of the future. It's very immersive. It's life-changing in a lot of ways. I let my dad play it. It changes life. You know, the, the fact that you can put on a helmet and actually be someplace else. You can watch documentaries in VR and experience concerts and play games. And it's just so many different applications in virtual reality. Of course, the technology and the development needs some time to really gestate and, and properly be executed. It's new, but it's definitely not a fad. It's not uh, the Xbox Connect. It's not the Wii Nunchucks. It's not uh, the PlayStation Move on PS3. It's not one of those fads. I think that this is definitely the future, but I do agree with Phil. I think think that a lot of the games that we're playing right now in the early adoption stage of, of VR does feel kind of like demos and short little stints and things that aren't really fully fledged, fully realized experiences. I bought PlayStation VR Worlds. It's a game that comes with a $500 bundle, but I bought the $400 uh, PlayStation VR. So I bought VR Worlds, which encompasses like five or six VR games that are all short experiences that don't feel like complete like a complete game. They feel like demos and, and things of that nature. And I think that when you have new technology like VR, uh, a lot of the experiences that you're, you're gonna have are gonna be short stint type of experiences because there's a, a threshold of time for people to sit with a VR headset on. I mean, even myself, I, I really don't get dizzy. I don't really have a lot of problems with it. But you know, I played PlayStation VR once for two hours. And when I got done with the two hour period, I took it off and mm, here came the headache. Some people can only do it for 10 minutes. Some people can do it for 20 or 30 minutes. And so a lot of these developers are keeping that in mind because they don't want to keep you into uh, uh, a narrative based game or a, a, a cinematic experience that's going to keep that headset on for prolonged periods of time. I think once the technology improves, the development improves, then they'll be more than likely able to implement that type of game. But as it sits right now, Phil Spencer's kind of right. You know, they do kind of feel like demos and maybe waiting for the proper time to jump in is the right thing to do? Who knows? But as I sit right now, PlayStation VR is fucking incredible. 
You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, should Xbox be ready to adopt the VR uh, mantra and jump on board with, with pretty much every gaming company out there barring Nintendo? Uh, you know, we got Oculus, we got HTC, people on PCs are playing VR, PlayStation 4 has VR, and Xbox is kind of lagging behind. What do you guys think? Let me know. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and check out BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.